grace-filled messages on discipline, confidence in discipline, the key to growing in Christ, and it's by David Benjamin, and that's his website where you can find all the books, and uh, they're available ebook or um, paperback, and uh, okay. Okay, ambassadors and being visited by the Father. Salvation is grace, the triune God working to bring you from a lost state and into the party, into the feast, and into the rejoicing. Amen. Romans 7 ends with, O wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from this body of this, uh, who shall deliver me from this body of death? And then Romans 8 begins with, There is therefore no condemnation. For those who are in Christ Jesus, Romans 7, 23, and Romans 8, amen. Romans 8 ends with, if God is for us, who can be against us? If he did not spare his only son, but freely gave him up for us all, how shall he not allow, or how shall he not also with him freely give us all things? Romans 8, 34, amen. We come to our senses, we agree with the Lord, and we are eventually brought into the party. Between Romans 8.1, no condemnation, and Romans 8.34, Paul tells us about the role of the mind. The mind set on the flesh, law and sin, is death, but the mind set on the spirit is life and peace. Romans 8.4-8. Amen. This is the mind that is set to agree with that which the spirit of sonship bears witness to bears witness to with our spirit that we are sons of God and heirs Romans 8:15 through 17 amen in 1 Corinthians Paul beseeches us to be reconciled to God he tells us that he is an ambassador of Christ who has been given the ministry of reconciliation because God was in Christ reconciling the world, including ourselves, to himself, not counting our trespasses against us. Amen. We need to see that this message really represents God's heart, God's feeling, God's position, and what he really, what he has really done for us. Amen. God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself, not reconciling, or excuse me, not counting their sins against them. 2 Corinthians 5, 18-20. Amen. He's made us. Paul included ambassadors of his grace and ministers of reconciliation, begging you to be reconciled to God to enjoy your position. Amen. Being reconciled and enjoying your position is so difficult when you're in deep sins, yet the prodigal son and adulterous woman did it. But was it really them doing it. No, it was God visiting them with the truth of who he is. Amen. Jesus visited the woman by saying, where are those who condemn you? Neither do I condemn you. The father visited the prodigal son by running to him and embracing him. The three parables, the shepherd and the lost sheep, the woman and the lost coin, and the father with the prodigal should be considered together. In the parables, it's the shepherd who goes to get the lost sheep. It's the woman who sweeps to find the coin. And it's the father running to the prodigal who's come to his senses through the shepherd, shepherding, through the shepherding work of the son and the sweeping work of the spirit. The whole journey from being brought to our senses to starting to come home to being reconciled to the father and brought into the feasting house is carried out by God's hidden work. Amen. It is the triune God's hidden visitation that draws us back to himself and reconciles us to himself. Amen. If only we lay hold of this. Amen. When I was lost in my sin, I couldn't escape from God. I couldn't deny Christ. Though I make my bed in hell, there he is. Psalm 139.8. Amen. That verse used to resonate with me because I was trying to run from him. I didn't want to deal with my sin anymore. I thought, 
I can't stop doing what I'm doing. And yet, if I think about God, all I sense is condemnation and fear. So what am I going to do? I can't stop thinking about him. I can't stop believing in him or believing him. I can't say it's not true. Why? Because I'm sealed with the spirit. I have the witness of the spirit in me testifying that Jesus is the son of God and that he came in the flesh. Amen. I can't get away from it and yet I can't embrace it because my mind is alienated through the wicked works. Amen.